Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 42, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We've done about all we can here at the Secret Station. We got the Evan Hawk back. We've got some missions, and it looks like we're about to add another one to our crew. Let's find out here in a minute. Board the Evan Hawk. Once aboard, you'll be leaving the Telos, Telos Polar Academy for good. I'm not sure about that for good thing. I got a funny feeling we're going to be back before too long. All right, so let's uh, enter the Evan Hawk. Oh, is it video time? Looks like it's video time. Hey, and I got the video to work. I mean. Dun, 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 dun. Dramatic music. I'm so glad we, you know, had that video. Oh. And that crash. Not crash. Minimization. All right. Uh, let's go back to... Mistress. There we go. The last of the handmaidens is not among us. She has left with the exile. Hmm. Left? But why? Her oath. I sent her to travel with the exile. She may discover something I cannot. Mistress. Hmm. The last of the handmaidens. She is willful, and she has demonstrated her fascination with Jedi. It may not have been why. I know what I have done, but it was necessary. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Well, now that we're off that need dark to... board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. Hmm. Thank you for that useful information, I think. Maybe? Uh, what's with T3? Beepity beepity beep. That's what I heard. Uh, slow down. I didn't. You did what while you were connected? What are you talking about? Slow down. Like the Swedish chef. Uh, <laughs> you downloaded the archives? Well, that could be interesting. What do we got? What does the machine say? Yes, I would really like to know. I, I would love for these games to just stop with the cutesy beepity beep and just give me the text. Let me know. All right. All right. Uh, he said there's a record of my trial. There's a hollow record of the day I was exiled. Uh... All right, let's go with that. We seem to have found it. Oh, here we go. I get a funny feeling this is going to be a video video. Oh, achievement unlocked. Starting down the dark path? Wait a second. How did that get me a dark side point? Do you know why we have called you here? Uh, whatever your reason, the speaker. Oh, oh, I can have influence on this. Interesting. Um, you've called me here to answer for my crimes. As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror Ooh. you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? Easy there. <laughs> uh, I'd slaughter every Mandalorian if I could, except Malachor did it for me. No. Uh, the truth is that no Jedi should turn from war. They should embrace... No. Uh, you are not at Malachor, and you will never understand. The truth is Mandalorians had to be stopped. A countless more would have died. If you seek to punish me, then get on with it. I realized that following Griffin to war was in violation of the code. I broke it and knowingly defied the wishes of the council. Uh, let, let's go. We, we've been leaning heavy on the Mandalorians had to be stopped, so let's keep you going there. Hear us. You have shut us out, and so have shut yourself to the galaxy. We feel that your true understanding of what happened at Malachor V will only happen in time, and it cannot happen here. Near the battlegrounds where you fought. Mm. You are exiled. 
and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. <laughs> okay. Much defiance in that one. You were correct, Kavar. When he was here, I felt it. It was as if he was not there. More like an echo. Revan's influence has grown amongst the youngest of the Order. He speaks to their passions, not their sense. The war has touched them. Many of them have found themselves in the war against the Mandalorians. It is as I feared. And I fear that we uh -oh. have played into the hands of the enemy. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. He has lost himself. He is no Jedi. He walked Revan's path, but he was not strong enough. I fear Wait his power teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones hmm. who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem hmm. from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code and lead all who listen oh. to the dark side, as they did the exile. You are wrong. The dark side is not what I sensed in the exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. He has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the dark side. We should not have let hmm. him depart. He will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with him, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let him go because we must. Where he travels, he carries his destination with him. Malachor V should have been his grave. You saw it in his walk, and in the Force. It was as if he was already dead. No, not dead. Oh. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and he cuts like a blade through it. We should have told him the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was Wait, true. what truth? There's still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave Or is that going to be the, uh, as friends. we go along? Perhaps in many years, we will call him before us and explain what happened to him, and how he may be healed. Until then, he must accept his journey. But he may never Alright, I guess this is going to be the thing that I find out later. Know why we cast him out. And that is the future we must accept. Okay. So there is something to be done. I sure like their secrets, don't they? Yeah, I'm noticing. Uh, so they knew what happened to me. They all do. I had no idea. Let's go with I had no idea. Hmm. All right. If you find anything else, let me know. Keep searching. I know it could take a while, but keep analyzing. All right. Yeah, let me acknowledge that it could take a while. Hmm. Uh, in a second, what else was in the archive? No, I'll examine it later. Uh, a list of all the missing Jedi? Sure, display it. Oh, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay, so these are the people and where I'm going to find them. Oh. Oh, that one I knew. Could you give it me a little, uh... All, the, all those fools were there when I was sentenced. I know all those masters. Uh, let's go with I know all those Jedi masters. Coincidence. It is no coincidence. Hmm. There is some larger Coincidence is not a kosher word. And we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. We have no choice, be that as we may. We need their help. Uh, find them. We go somewhere to hide. Forget the Jedi and go right for the Sith. No. Uh, we need their help. Those are Atris's records you have stolen. What the hell are you doing on our ship? I have come to join you. I can help you against this threat. Well, we don't want your help. Or any of your sisters. If it comforts <laughs> you to believe that, then so be it. But the enemies you face are many, and you will need all the help you can get. It is just no, that's fair. And I am doing this because Atris believes you will need help. Uh, 
I'll take whatever help I can get. I don't care. Do you think we need help? Well, let me ask. I think the strength of the enemy is unknown, but it is greater than five can hope to defeat without aid. Uh, when you put it like that, then welcome aboard. I'll take whatever help I can get. And now, uh, when you put it like that, then welcome aboard. Indeed. But of course, what does one more matter to our journey? I have had enough of this. Huh. I, will be in I think chambers. you're the one yeah, who's been poisoning too. everybody. I'll be in my chambers. But since I don't have any, I guess I'll just go to the cockpit like I always do. If she's coming <laughs> with us, she gets the cargo hold. Might remind her how fun it is to get locked up. Oh, seriously? General. The cargo hold is enough. I assure you, there is little I need. I will attend to myself. Oh, come on. Uh, not only are those going to be your quarters, but they'll be where you stay for the duration. Consider yourself under guard. No. I know you're here to spy for Atris, so watch yourself. Find a stand of way. Don't let him bother you. He's been through a lot. Forget him. Take the regular quarters. We have enough room. Uh, let's go with the second one. Because I don't want to out and out dismiss Atten. That's probably how I lose influence with him. So let, let's go. You know, we've been through a lot. It is no matter. I am used to worse conditions, but thank you for your kindness. Okay. The handmaiden has joined your party. She has a Chani defense which protects her against melee attacks and is an excellent unarmed fighter. And I saw another achievement toast pop up, but I missed it. Okay. So far, so good. General, nope. is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? Um, <laughs> Atris and the Jedi Council took it from me. It was taken from me. When my lightsaber is returned to me, I will bear it. Yeah, let's go with when it was returned to me. When it's returned to me, it's I'll bear it. your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one if you wanted to, but you know that. Um, I'm not afraid. I don't want anything. Do you think I can't build one? And why wouldn't I? That seems the least insulting one of all the options. And why wouldn't I? I don't know, General. But whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. Alright, and how shall we start? With the Jedi Enclaves all destroyed. I don't know where I'll get the parts. Uh... All right. To begin, there's some parts I'll I need. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. <laughs> Since when did you become an expert? Where? All right, then. What do we need? Where do we start looking then? Let's go with all right, then. What do we need? We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens, and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit, the crystal is beyond my means. Hmm. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you, and if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring okay. the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. Oh, that's fair. Oh, hello. For the last time, My glorious no. Roomba. Beep, beep, boop. Because you're programmed to force your opponent to go first, and nothing will convince me the computer doesn't cheat. <laughs> oh, seriously? Are we gonna play a game? Would you like to play a game? All right, most of you are probably too young to get that one. Have to go first, and somehow I didn't suspect you of counting cards. I still wouldn't play with a trash compactor. Hey, easy with um. Come on, man. Leave the little guy alone. Yeah? How many credits? <laughs> okay. All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. No, don't wipe the little guy. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you, too. Alright. Give him a shot. Upgrade him if you can. What I was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. Uh, utility droids tend to have a habit towards developing personality quirks. Maybe he's just worried about your skills. Eh, let's go with the question. What's going on? 
Uh, indecipherable gibberish. Okay, that, that is irritating me more than it should tonight. I apologize for that. I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. Sounds like a good idea. He probably knows what he's doing. Worst comes to worst, it's not like we can't pick up a... No. That sounds like a good idea to me. Good. Now let's get started. Alright. What kind of bonus is he going to get? guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. Yeah, it always does. Seems to be a staple of Star Wars games and movies. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place. Hey, he's got a permanent plus two to con. Nice. Alright, journal entries. And I'm on the Ebon Hawk. We got a bunch of people. Let's see. Crafting a lightsaber. Alright, you found a fixture for the energy still, but still need an emitter and lens fixtures. And then I'll be able to upgrade it. Lost Jedi. That's going to give me... Yeah, i got to find them. Alright. Okay. First things first. Let's, um... While we got the time, let's run around and talk to everybody because I don't want to get started on a new planet just yet. We're, we're far enough in that I don't want to... It's been too short for me to call it, but uh, there's not so much more time that I feel comfortable going to the planet. Did you stop flying? Oh, uh, hey, I can actually talk to the remote. Interesting. It's been a long time. I'm surprised you're still functioning. <sighs> Never mind. What do General, we got? Need something? Uh. Really, you don't have to keep <laughs> call me General. Sorry. Yes, I can't get my head out of the past. I was just wondering what you've been doing since the war ended. I moved around for a couple years. Working as a starship mechanic got me from place to place. I wasn't ready to settle down after the war. Um. Why did you move around so much? I moving, I didn't have to think about what happened. You know what I mean? Only too well. I'm sure you do. I decided I'd do something constructive. I wanted to make up for the things I'd done in the war. I wanted to design planetary shields, but there weren't many systems with the credits to spare. There was more that needed to be rebuilt than protected. I found out that Telos was going to be the flagship project for the Republic, and it sounded like something good. I saw Telos before the Sith raised it. He deserved a better fate. But Zerka ruined everything. I thought I could force Zerka out on my own, but I guess I can't fix everything myself. That's fair. Uh, it's good to have you around. I'll leave you to repairs. I think taking it on single-handedly might be a little odd. Now, let, let's just go. It's good to have you around it's again. It's good to be working with you again, General. Something else I can help you with? Uh, where'd you pick up that remote? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following of course. Me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. <laughs> uh, what does it do other than follow you he around? He with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good That's for fair. singeing the pants of annoying techs. <laughs> funny, funny. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? All right. Uh, what are you doing? Just working on the ship. I'm not sure who got her up and running, but I'm amazed she's even space worthy. Whoever made these oh, repairs doesn't think like most mechanics. But don't worry, I'll get everything in shape. Okay. I guess that's it there. Not too bad. All right, workbench. I'll get to that. I will probably do off camera. 
where I can go through everybody's armor and equipment and all that. I wonder if the ships can actually look like it's been repaired over time. That would be pretty cool. Oh, I still got the HK stuff to do as well. Alright, there's my lab station. I'll get to that in a minute. Alright, nope, nope. I get so turned around in this thing. Engine room. Alright. That's empty, so let's, uh, let's do our, let's do, um, maybe I'll take care of that. I was going to say, oh, never mind, never mind, phrasing. Uh, let's, let's take care of these two HK parts before I do anything else. Because I, I forgot about that the last time, and I want to do something this time. This looks like the remains of an HK unit, but older and more corroded than the one you encountered on Paragus. His power core still carries a charge, but a number of critical parts appear to be missing. Uh, repair. It looks as if this droid is missing four critical components. It's droid processor, a replacement droid chassis, the control cluster that's supposed to be stored on the chassis, and its vocabulator. All right, let's uh, do the repair. Hey, you've installed the vocabulator and control cluster. All right, that's it for now. Ooh, we got a new journal entry. There we go, rebuild HK-47 bonus mission. All right, all we gotta do is find the droid chassis and the droid processor. Nice, that also gets those items out of my inventory, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh. I know I need to hit up Atten. So let's do let's do the thing with Korea first, and then we'll take care of the handmaiden and then Atten last. How many more do we intend to gather to us? <laughs> this ship is not the galaxy. There is only so much room. Easy. As many as want to come, only as many as I need. No, 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 no. It's not my fault if they follow me. No, we'll go with as many as want to come and help us. Then prepare for an army, I think, for it seems many more will come in time. I hope they so. They follow you because you are a leader. Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. Ouch. Uh, I deserve such obedience from them and you? No. What makes you think they'll obey me? They're my friends, not my followers. Eh. Do not cloak one word within another. <laughs> friends. Do friends not follow? Do friends not form a hierarchy of their own, no matter how small the circle? Eh. Let's go with that first one. I am too old for friends. And when the years settle upon you, you will dispense with such words as well. Hmm, no. What make all right? Nah, I'm no leader because that doesn't seem like the thing to admit to her. So because let's go I am with that. Not blind, that is why. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. Uh, why are you angry? How do you know that? Let's go with how do you know that? I know many things. And I know what I am not. I am no leader. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. So I'm kind of cranky. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? Uh, no, what? They echo you, either fighting or surrendering to their feelings, their loyalty, their duty. Your mere presence serves as an example to them of something to uphold or something to fight against. Watch them okay. carefully, see their patterns, and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. Uh... And what about you? I, I am but a mirror whose only purpose is to show you what your own eyes cannot yet see. Eh, they're my friends, not tools. I care not which of the words you use, as long as <laughs> okay. you make use of that which you forge. That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. Oh, oh, no, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. 
Uh all right, what does she mean? A discussion, perhaps, for another time. Oh. Okay, I had other Ask, questions. And I will answer. Uh what's wrong with your eyes? Jedi Sith. Let's start with you don't seem to like the handmaiden. Why? There are countless reasons, and I have neither the time nor the patience to list them all. Okay. Yeah, let's go. She's offered to help us, so show her the same respect I show you. Do you think to turn her from Atris's will? If so, hm. I hope your arrogance will prove true in time. But I will abide her presence. She may have her uses. All right. And why do you say that? Atris is a threat. And as much as she oh. will try to use us against you, so may we use her servants against her. Do not That's... see every enemy as an enemy. See them instead as an ally. Whether they realize it or not, this situation uh, okay, may Sun Tzu. to our advantage. Sun Tzu's art of friendship. All right. Uh, not an enemy. Neither should you. If that is your opinion, it is noted. Is that all you wish to speak to me about? I had other questions. Ask, and I will answer. All right. Uh. What's wrong with your eyes? There is nothing wrong with my sight, if that is your question. I see all that I need, though the seeing of things flesh and blood has failed me some time ago. They were distractions only. All right. Uh, there might be a way to heal your sight. There is nothing wrong with my eyes. They simply have atrophied from use. They are adequate to distinguish shapes, silhouettes. If need be, I could okay. heal them, restore my sight, but sight can prove a distraction. When one relies on sight to perceive the world, it is like trying to stare at the galaxy through a crack in the door. But that is a lesson for another time. You must learn okay. to see crude matter for what it is before the veil is lifted. All right, you going to teach me? No. I got other questions, then. And I will answer. I wasn't expecting this long conversation. All right, so what are you? Jedi? Sith? I mean, at the time of the game's publishing, was, was the whole Grey Jedi thing a thing? Does it matter? Of course it does. Such titles allow you to break the galaxy into uh, light okay. and dark, categorize it. Perhaps I am neither, and I hold both as what they are, pieces of a whole. No, okay. I am your teacher, and that is enough. All right. Then, what were you? What do you wish to hear? That I once believed in the Code of the Jedi? That I felt the call of the Sith? That perhaps once I held the galaxy by its throat? That sounds about every right. every good work that I did, I brought equal harm upon the galaxy? That perhaps that sounds about the greatest right too. of the Sith Lords knew of evil, they learned from me? Mm -hmm. What did it matter now? There is only so much comfort in knowing such things, and it is not who I am now. All right. If the pass is as important as you claim, then I would hear yours. Then when oh yeah, yeah, let's turn that back around. Oh, video time. Here we go. There are dark places in the galaxy where few tread, ancient centers of learning of knowledge, but I did not walk alone. To be united by hatred is a fragile alliance at best. I bet. Oh, hey! He looks familiar. And he still looks like he could use a skin cream or something. A little bit of aloe, maybe. But my will was not law. There were disagreements. Ambition. Okay, then. There are techniques within the Force against which there is no defense. Oh.
Oh, that that looks like it hurt. You gonna do a WWE thing? Stripped of my power, exiled. I suffered indignities and fell oh. into darkness. Don't tell. Learn from me, my mistakes, and use that knowledge hmm. to become greater than I. That is all I ask of you, and that is all I desire. In you, all my hopes rest for the future, for the Force. All right. Uh, I need more than that. That is not sufficient. I had other questions. Uh, let's see if we can get more than that. If it means so much to you, then this I swear to you upon my life upon our lives that when your training is complete I will answer everything there shall be no more shadows between us hmm. only truth that exists between master and apprentice all right I got other questions and I will answer all right the eyes what are you let's ask about Atrus I know her as oh. much as I know any Jedi if you have mm -hmm. other questions, you may ask those, but on Atris, I can provide you no answers that you cannot find on your own. Okay. Ask I gotta build up more influence with her then. Uh... Alright, do you know anything about the Sith that pursue us? Nothing more nope. than we already know, and anything else I know would be useless. There is danger in such knowledge. Even if I was certain of the ones who hunt you. Okay. Ask what else do I not have the influence to learn from you? Uh, did you know Revan? I misspoke oh, before. Nope. And I do not wish to choose my words unwisely again. Leave this be. Alright, I got Ask, other questions. And I will answer. Do you know how he amassed such a few, huge force? A discussion, nope. perhaps, for another time. Fine, fine, fine. All right, never mind. I'll be going now. Oh, I lost influence with her. Is it because of all the light side stuff? I bet it's because of all the light side stuff. But I got a thousand XP for just talking. That's always good. All right. I got a funny feeling that all the answers that are going to work best on her are the kind that provoke dark side points. And, oh, no, I've capped out. I have topped out the light side thing this early in the game. So that might mean that I could go ahead and poke her uh, or, or, you know, earn a little goodwill with her for some dark side points and then do some light side stuff later to balance it back up. Although I do like that light side mastery gives me a plus three to con, which means technically my constitution is 19. That means that, oh, that means that I can use the high-level implants that I was mad about not being able to use. Oh, yeah. That works. All right. Um, I got two more people to talk to before I'm done with the Evan Hawk, and I'm a little over the time that I planned to spend because I didn't expect that conversation to take this long. But since I don't want to start the next one with conversations to have, let me talk to these last two people. It'll go a little bit longer than, than I was originally planning. Uh, and that way, at the next episode, we, we can uh, start right up and get into something specific. Oh, welcome, Exile. Is there something you need? Uh, are you all yes. right? Your features, your stance. There is a calm about you that I did not notice on Telos. <laughs> and what do you mean? There is an energy about you, a lightness in your movements. It is something I have seen in only the most disciplined and revered of the Ichani Weapon Masters. Yet it comes to you with ease. Ah. Uh, Alright, I do feel better, it more in touch. In features. It is beautiful to see. I think this is them noticing the, the level of light side points that I have. Alright, uh, can I ask you some yes. questions? Ooh. Did Atrus ever mention me? She said you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. Uh, okay. 
Oh. That is not all she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own oh. animal instincts. Oh, no. There, there's she the jab again. I think we've had all these conversations say. before. Uh... And why was that? Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. Uh, if that were the case, I would have fought in the Civil War. Atris says when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with them because you had fallen so far you could no longer feel the Force. Um, no, not my choice. Or, so it was, was my choice. choice then. If Atris has erred in her evaluation of your motivations, it might be best to inform her. You can tell her. <laughs> I'd rather jab myself with a stunner. I still like that. Uh, did she say anything else? I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Um... Uh, yeah, no, we already had that conversation. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Oh, good. We do actually have a couple of options. Like, uh, why are you called the Handmaiden? That's a we new... Attend Atris. It is the duty of all of us, from the first of my sisters to me, the last of the Handmaidens. You're the last of them? I am the last of the Handmaidens. This is correct. I train so that one day that will no longer be true. Okay. All right. Let's go with the first answer. Butter her up. Correct. There are times I am distracted. Perhaps once having known the ways of the Jedi, you may understand what occupies my thoughts. What do you mean? There is much knowledge on Telos, and only one of the Jedi remain. There is so much about their ways of battle, their forms, their stances, that may be lost forever if the last of the Jedi is taken from the galaxy. Uh, battle's not the truth. Combat's not the Jedi way. Is this what occupies your thoughts? To lose those techniques would be tragic. Uh, and you'd preserve it? Combat is not the Jedi way, and it's not my way. Um, uh, hmm. Let's, uh... Hmm. Because I think we can influence her to become a Jedi as well. So let's try number two. I know your meaning, but I have not been clear on mine. Stance, form, discipline are a means of expression and communication. They speak one's heart and one's devotion to their cause. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, no, I, I don't like some of these options. Let's go with uh, the Devotion to a cause? Yes. The methods you use to meet your opponents speak truer than any words can express. When you risk pain or death, there is no truer sacrifice or strength. Um. Nor a greater show of fealty. Uh. Let's go forget it. I got some other questions. All right, you know what? I might come back to this one a little bit later because that looks like it's going to be a while, but I did get some light side points out of it. All right, let's check in with Atten real quick, and then we'll call it a night. Although, where's T3? I probably should talk to him too. He's probably wandering around from place to place. Uh, I've got some questions All for right. you. What did you want to know? Here to explain where you got your training. Huh? What are you talking about? When 
time we entered the Telos Academy, you dropped into a combat stance. Oh, that. Don't tell anyone, but you wouldn't believe how many fights you can prevent by just pretending to know that stuff. I mean, it doesn't compare to wearing a lightsaber, but then again, that doesn't seem to help you much. Ouch. Tell me the truth now. Don't change the subject. Uh, I was just asking. No harm meant. I thought it could just be an ass. Yeah, let's go with that one. Well, hey, thanks. But you've got the wrong guy. I'm good at shooting people, cracking wise, and pretending to know how to fight with my hands. All right. All right. What did you want to know? Oh, okay. That's it. Hey, I gained some influence with that. And awesome. All right. Well, let me go ahead and save the game. Okay. And this is where we're going to stop. I know I went a little long, but I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, I guess we'll go from there. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.